So I think that the um, determination of the Israeli capital should be something that should be settled in a Israeli-Palestinian bilateral negotiation for the creation of a Palestinian state, which is something that the Palestinian people should be able to have. They should be able to have freedom. They should. So they do have freedom. What freedoms do the Palestinian people not have right now? Well, I mean, currently. Name one freedom. Uh, have you been to the West Bank? Something they lack freedom freedom of movement. Sure, they do. Uh, an Arab in the Palestinian Authority can travel to Israel, Jordan, Syria, Lebanon, in and out with any sort of restriction. I've been to Judea and Samaria. I've been to Hebron. I've been to the Golan Heights. As a Christian, thankfully, I'm allowed in there. You know, all my Jewish tour guides and my IDF friends as Jews are not allowed in the West Bank. Why? So what freedom don't they have? Well, you know. No, I don't know. <laughs> can you name one freedom that the Palestinian people do not have? Look, or, or is that just a talking point with no evidence? Look, sophistry aside for both of us, I, you know, just, there's an, there's an imbalance here between what the, between Israel and Palestine that the current Israeli government. What imbalance? Can you build, build it out for me? Because there's, you, have, you haven't been able to name a freedom they don't have. Did you know that the Israeli government gave up the Gaza Strip in pursuit of peace in 2006? and it was immediately taken over. 10,000 Jewish settlers left the Gaza Strip in pursuit of peace in 2006, and it was immediately taken over by the terrorist group Hamas, which is one of the richest parts of Israel. Israel, Israel, Israel gave it up voluntarily because they thought it would give them peace, and they, the PA didn't give it to them. So what freedoms does the PA not have? Look, I mean, honestly. This is really important because you come up here and say, Ilan Omar said nothing wrong. You make a factless, evidence, you know, totally absent of evidence statement the Palestinian people don't have freedom say one thing please defend yourself so look I'm so, I came out here not completely prepared well because with it doesn't exist so here's the thing the talking point is factless the Palestinian Authority exists as a governance structure over now what is truly Judea and Samaria which has always been Israel do you know where the word Palestine comes from you probably don't uh, Arabia Palestiniana no, which was the it was Philistine it's Philistine which is an Arabia uh, which is a Roman term which only goes back about you know 1400 years. Israel has always been the home of the Jews, dating back for 3,500 plus years. Israel is yeah. mentioned over 635 times in the Torah. Jerusalem has zero religious significance in the Quran at all to the Arab Muslim people, yet it's mentioned 637 times. Yet under Israeli control, the Arabs and the Muslims still get total and complete access to their holy sites. Yet where the Arabs control areas, the Jews are not allowed to visit there whatsoever. Why is that the Palestinian Authority pays the families of terrorists that kills Jews? They have a pay for slay policy. Thank God that President Trump just finally defunded it. I encourage you one thing. Don't believe the facts and the narrative that are just coming from the media because you're just wrong here and you obviously can't defend your position. Go and visit the West Bank yourself. You'll see the facts up and close because you're incorrect.